In this question, we need to find the Nyquist rate for each of the following signals. There are three signals and the first signal is sampling 4 pi t. The second signal is sampling 5 pi t whole cube. The third signal is sampling 4 pi t whole square multiplied to sampling 3 pi t power 4. And before moving to the solution, we will quickly revise some points which we have already discussed. In the first lecture of the sampling theorem, I took one continuous time signal which I called message signal and represented by MT and I said that we are assuming the message signal to be a band limited signal and this makes the Fourier transform of the message signal, let's say the Fourier transform is m omega limited. So the waveform of m omega which we assumed to be a triangular pulse which is non-zero only between minus omega m to plus omega m where omega m is the maximum frequency component of the message signal. So this is what we saw in the first lecture of the sampling theorem and moving back to the Fourier transform and recalling the Fourier transform of the sampling function, we can say that sampling function will have a rectangular pulse as the Fourier transform. If we write the general sampling function A0 sampling kt, then its Fourier transform will be a rectangular pulse, will be a rectangular pulse like this and the rectangular pulse you are looking here is non-zero from minus k to plus k. This is the Fourier transform of the sampling function. Let's say sampling function here is our message signal mt. Then the Fourier transform will be m omega. And this value of the Fourier transform is equal to a0 pi divided by k. But we don't have to do anything with a0 pi divided by k in this lecture. We are more focused on k we are having in the sampling function. Now compare this waveform with this waveform and you will find k is equal to omega m. So the maximum frequency component of a sampling function is k. So this k here will give you the value of maximum frequency component omega m and once you have omega m you can calculate the Nyquist rate omega s which is equal to twice of omega m. Now we will move on to the first signal which is sampling 4 pi t. So here the message signal mt is equal to sampling 4 pi t. Now compare this with the standard sampling function you will find a0 is equal to 1 but we don't have to do anything with a0 we are more focused on the maximum frequency component which is k now compare kt with 4 pi t you will find 4 pi is the maximum frequency component omega m so we now have omega m it is equal to 4 pi radians per second and from here we can calculate omega s, the Nyquist rate, it is equal to 2 times omega m, this means 2 times 4 pi. So finally we are getting the Nyquist rate of the first signal as 8 pi radians per second. Now we will move on to the second signal and the second signal is equal to sampling 5 pi t whole cube. So first we will calculate the Nyquist rate of sampling 5 pi t. Let's say m1t is equal to sampling 5 pi t. Again we will compare it with the standard sampling function and you can see that 5 pi is the value of maximum frequency component omega m. So we can calculate omega s the Nyquist rate it is equal to twice of omega m this means twice of 5 pi 
so finally we are getting omega s equal to 10 pi radians radians per second but here we have calculated the Nyquist rate of m1t so I will call it omega s1 omega s1 is equal to 10 pi radians per second but we need to calculate the Nyquist rate of mt and as we are having mt as m1t power 3 we can say that message signal mt is equal to m1t whole power 3 and we know the Nyquist rate is equal to 3 times the Nyquist rate of m1t this is the property we have already seen so the Nyquist rate of mt which is omega s will be equal to the power which is 3 multiplied to the Nyquist rate of m1t which is 10 pi radians per second when you solve it you will get omega s is equal to 30 pi radians per second so this is the answer and in this way we have calculated the Nyquist rate of first signal and the Nyquist rate of second signal now the calculation of Nyquist rate of the third signal is the homework problem for you so try to calculate the Nyquist rate of sampling 4 pi t whole square multiplied to sampling 3 pi t power 4 use the properties which I have given you and you will be able to solve its Nyquist rate in a very less time so once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one